What happened? Are you okay? I was cleaning up the room on the second floor when all of a sudden I heard some noise from downstairs. And then my boy screamed and... and... I ran downstairs, but I couldn't find him anywhere. It must be the damned witch again. What about Magnus? Can he help? He's gone on his own searches. He only muttered that she hides very well. Mardred, hold on. Now we'll pack up and go in pursuit. We'll get your boy back. A turn. Is it an actual magic? Live and real? I did not expect to see him here at all. They have not been found in these parts for a long time. I caught him in the lake. I thought that he was abducting children, but Dwilia had just disappeared. Which means that it's not Merchik's fault. Of course it's not his fault. They are usually peaceful and friendly. They avoid human company and play pranks, yes, but kidnapping a child is too much for a Merchik. But he was there. He could at least see the kidnapper. Only, I don't understand any of his mutterings. I was told that the local animal specialist is the hunter, Benegar. He prefers to live away from the town, but he is the only one who can help you understand the Merchik. How can I find him? You will leave the forge and pass the edge of a forest, and somewhere there will be a shack in the forest. If you're lucky, you'll find him there. You? I'm Freya, the blacksmith's daughter. Dad's just left. I need to get to the edge of the forest. Can you help me? My treehouse is there and I love to play in it. But Dad closed the gate and hid the key in the shed. If you find the key and open the door, it'd be great. Thank you for opening the gate.
No one has been there for a long time. I saw a brush cutter in the forge. It can be used to clear the passage. This is the altar to open the keeper, but I haven't found any similar to this yet. Who are you? What are you doing here? I am Leonor, apprentice of Magnus. I was told that you can understand the language of Murchex. Magnus is apprentice. Go your way. I can help you, but I won't. But why? I'm trying to help find missing children. I have nothing to do with this, although I need arrowheads. Make them, then I'll think about helping you. You can look for the form in the clearing near my dwelling. Looks like it has something to do with the town hall clock. I get tired of everything. I go to the field at night, and I look at the stars.
I need to find the missing numbers and return them to their place.
This is one of the four heroes who stopped the Grey Overlord. Some strange material. Maybe there are other heroes' figurines somewhere else. I have almost no experience in blacksmithing, but I made the arrowheads the best I could. Well, if you did what it takes to help me, then I will help you too. He is worried about something. You need to calm him down. Then he will speak. They love wind chimes. Wind chimes? What's this? How can I make one? It's something like a bell. I don't remember exactly how to make it. There are different jingles. Cinnamon sticks. I must have notes somewhere. I will look for a scam. I'll ask the baker if he has cinnamon in the meantime. May I borrow a few cinnamon sticks from you? Are you trying to be my competition? Of course you can take them. They're on the shelf. I found the wind chime scam in my notes. Thanks. I'll try to take care of it. There must be a suitable base in the clearing. I've already found several of these bells. If I can only remember where. Thank you. 
I made a bell. Great. Now we can return to the square and listen to the mer chick. When the merchick was pacified by the wind chime, he willingly shared everything he had seen. A few days ago, the merchick smelled bread in the boat where the boy was sitting. He was about to jump to steal the bread when terrible shadows suddenly appeared and rushed at the boy. The merchick hid. When he emerged, the shadows had already disappeared along with the boy. The merchick said that he had seen the same shadows in the square while he was sitting in a barrel. They were also chasing another boy that ran away from the town towards the fields. The merchick was very afraid of these shadows. He said that this was evil magic. He really wanted to go home. But it can't be. I saw him in a vision. Maybe he's not telling the truth. Mer chicks are physically incapable of lying. You can trust his words. Then things just got even more complicated. Nevertheless, I have to put him back in the lake. It's already night. You don't have to wander around the town at such a time. I'll take the mer chick myself. Go home. It's already quite dark. Perhaps I really need to rest. It was a terrible day. Dwarf Dwilia, the son of the tavern owner, had disappeared. Leonor had to get the support of Benegar, a stern hunter who lives on the outskirts, to question the merchick. However, her hopes were not justified. The kidnapping was not the merchick's fault. However, he turned out to be a valuable witness 